This is 1.7 speed run. Here's the vocab for the topic. Proteins are made of linear chains of amino acids linked together. They are linked together by covalent bonds, but this is also sometimes called peptide bonds. Each amino acid is made of one central carbon, a carboxyl group, an amine group, and an R group. The carboxyl group and the amine group are used for chaining multiple amino acids together, kind of like those toy magnetic trains. The R group is what determines the amino acid's chemical property. The R is a placeholder for the 20 different types of possible amino acids. Depending on the R group, it can make the amino acid acid nonpolar, polar, or ionic. The interactions of the R groups in this chain will eventually determine the structure of the protein. Proteins fold up into a specific shape. That shape will dictate its function. The structure of a protein can be broken down into four levels. The primary structure of a protein is the sequence of amino acids. The secondary structure involves local folding, specifically noted by alpha helices and beta pleated sheets. The tertiary structure refers to the 3D shape of the protein, which is formed through the R group interactions. The Quaternary structure occurs when multiple polypeptides or proteins come together. So this doesn't happen with every single protein. And that's everything you need to know for this topic. These are meant to be reviewed. So if you need a more in-depth explanation, find me on YouTube where I go into more detail.